Perfectly cooked chicken done in a non-traditional way in a fantastic Vietnamese dressing is all it takes to make this incredible Vietnamese chicken salad meal prep. We'll start out by making the dressing because we want to get this cooled down, so add 100 milliliters of fish sauce to a saucepan along with 125 milliliters of water, 100 grams of sugar which is going to balance out the flavors, and 6 kaffir lime leaves for infusion. We're also going to need 15 grams of ginger, you don't have to peel this and we're just going to slice it into chunks like this and we're also going to need 2 cloves of garlic that can be crushed and these two are going to release their flavour into the dressing. Add those two in then make your way over to your stovetop, place it over a high heat and all we're going to do is give this a mix and bring it to a very light boil and this is only to melt the sugar, that's all we have to do and once that's done this can then be removed from the stovetop. Now it's up to you, you can leave it in the saucepan to allow it to cool down and save dishes, but I'm going to transfer it over to another heatproof container or bowl, also adding in all of those infusion ingredients, then I'm going to place this in the fridge for the time being whilst we prepare everything else. We're then going to need 100 grams of peanuts, we're going to spread our nuts out on our board, then we're going to give them a rough chop just to break them down, they don't have to be super fine just as long as each individual peanut is actually broken up. Also if you're allergic, just leave these out completely. Add your nuts to a cold pan over a medium high heat, no oil or salt is required for these, you can season them a little bit if you wanted to, and we're just going to toast these for 3 minutes until they're golden, then remove and place them on a plate to allow them to cool down. With our dressing and our nuts now cooling, let's slice one white onion in half, you can use red onion as well, and we're going to thinly slice this in the half moon position, and when you get about 3 quarters of the way through just lay it flat and continue slicing safely. Next is two medium sized carrots, I realised I hadn't pushed record when I top and tailed them but we're going to slice these in half, then take a strip off the side just so that it can sit flat on the bench without wobbling around. The next thing to do is slice these into thin strips, probably around 2mm in size and the reason we slice them in half is to make them easier to work with. Then we're going to stack those strips up and slice them into the matchstick cut which is also known as julienne. Add the carrots and the onions into a mixing bowl, making sure to scrape it all in there so we don't waste anything. Then we're going to add in 150 grams of mung beans, 80 milliliters of rice wine vinegar or white vinegar if you can't consume alcohol, 20 grams of sugar which is completely optional, it just really balances out that acidity, and sea salt flakes to taste. Then get your clean hands in there and mix this all together, and this is going to very very lightly pickle these, and we're going to allow these to sit for about 10 minutes whilst we prepare everything else. Now for the chicken, place a pot of water filled halfway over a high heat, season to taste with salt and then we're going to bring this to a boil. Once at a boil, add in 3 large chicken breasts and we're going to cook these for 10 minutes or an internal temperature of 73 degrees celsius, then remove and allow these to drain and cool for about 15 minutes. With the nuts now cold, these can be portioned out into 5 containers, you don't have to weigh them unless you really wanted to, and these can be stored alongside the salad and you can add them on but they will become a little bit soggy. We're also going to do the same thing with the salad dressing which is now cold, just portion it out into 5 containers. It does work out to be about 2.5 tablespoons or 50 milliliters per container, but as long as they're all even sized it doesn't really matter too much. This salad dressing will now last up to 1 month in the fridge, it is sometimes better to make a big batch and have this on hand, but here's all the macros and everything you need for this dressing which is pretty low in all of them. As for the rest of the ingredients, we don't have to do any more cooking, we're going to need 300 grams of white cabbage and red cabbage, we're going to remove the core from both of them, and I like to peel off a few layers which will make it easier to work with, then slice these into thin strips, or the correct culinary term is chiffonade. Going back to the chicken, this is now cooled down, we're going to get a nice sharp knife and slice this into thin strips the whole way across. We're doing the chicken slightly different to how I'd usually do it in any other video, this is then going to be torn up with our hands, it's going to create all these little nooks and crannies, and the reason that this chicken is completely plain is because the dressing is literally going to seep into it and create all of that flavour. Now these next ingredients are completely optional but I do highly recommend slicing up one lime into wedges, we can squeeze this over the end product which is going to create a beautiful freshness and obviously a nice citrus kick. The other one's red chilli, you don't have to use this if you don't like the heat, but I'm just going to thinly slice this into nice little pieces and it does add a beautiful kick to the freshness of the salad. Alright, with everything done now, let's add both the chiffonaded cabbages into a large mixing bowl, add in the pickled onions, carrots and mung beans, and I do recommend draining off a little bit of that pickling brine. Add in the chicken, then we're going to finish it off with 25 grams of both mint and coriander. We can then mix this up just until everything is evenly combined, obviously I'm using my hands, I know where I've been and my produce is clean, but use whatever you want. And this right here is the nutrition values or macros for the salad without the dressing. Now I'm using a different size container for this one, these ones are 1.3 litres instead of the usual 750 millilitres. We can then place over the chilli if you're using it, 
And with all of that out of the way, we are then left with these absolutely incredible Vietnamese chicken salads that are yet to be finished because we can place on the lids and store them with the dressing and the nuts and these will last up to 4 days in the fridge and like I said the dressing will last a lot longer. As for serving, pour over the dressing which is the perfect amount for a salad of this size and obviously this is a cold dish so there's no need to heat it up. We can then top it with the roasted peanuts for an amazing texture if you're using them and squeeze over the lime for a beautiful citrusy freshness. This right here is the macros for the complete salad with the dressing included and the best and only thing that's then left to do is we can then dig in. A salad like this is perfect no matter what time of the year. Obviously on a summer's day it's absolutely delicious but even on a cold winter's night it goes really well and you can even pair it as a side for something else. You don't even have to put the chicken in it, you can just have it as the vegetables only. Obviously there's a bit of prep work to this but it is a great way to hone those knifing skills. It's really sweet, it's acidic, it's salty and it's extremely fresh. Overall this is an absolutely incredible salad and I can't wait for you to try it.